All right, take it away. Welcome Culver City High School students. My name is Cara Mendoza. I am going to go over a little bit about Spartan College of Aeronautics and Technology. We have a very close campus to your school, which is in Inglewood, California, but I'm also going to tell you about our other three campuses today. But we've had many students come from your school and go through our program because it's very hands-on, fun, exciting, all in, the, in uh, the world of aviation. So stay tuned. Thank you for being here. So my agenda is, I'm just, I, I've already welcomed everyone, um, the history and today about Spartan and the aviation industry. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about what curriculum you would take as a student with us. The student support services that we have, as well as our career service and the industry outlook for aviation. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but this is our timeline. We've been in business over 90 years. So we have our campus, LAX campus. We now have Riverside, California. We have our Denver campus, and our original campus was Tulsa, Oklahoma, which is still there. So we have four different campuses for you to choose from. So our campuses operate as Spartan College of Aeronautics and Technology. We're a private degree granting education and training with national accreditation. Our primary program of study is called Air Freeman Power Plant or AMP. Um, here at LAX campus, it is called the AMP program. It's the same exact program at Riverside, California, but they call it AMT, which is Aviation Maintenance Technology. This one is Airframe and Power Plant. It's the same exam that you would take. They just, it, it's just worded. It's called a different thing, but it's the same thing that you'd be studying. We have Denver, Colorado. Tulsa, Oklahoma is our main campus. It's huge. The Tulsa campus, just so you know, has dorms. We also have our flight school. So in Tulsa, you're able to take pilot school and actually fly the plane, as well as repair, learn all about the electricity, non-destructive testing, and quality control. We do offer an associates and a bachelor's after you complete the initial diploma portion, which takes around 15 to 17 months. To add on, the rest of the associates portion is only four months, so you can have an associates completed in about 21 months with us, and a bachelor's in 31 months, so under four years, which is awesome. So Spartan's key accomplishments, we've had 90 years, that, that we've been in business 90 years of training aviation professionals. 140,000 have been trained for it from the U.S. and in over 60 countries. So we have a lot of international students that come in to study with us. Um, the tuition is very affordable, so they fly from all over different countries, come out and stay and complete their program. It takes about 15 to 18 months to complete their program, so they commit here to it then get certified and they can go back and work anywhere in the world. 1,500 current students, more than 20% of those are veterans. A lot of um, former Air Force or uh, different military branch professionals go through their, um, you, you know, their, their service years and then when they want to find a trade, this is a very popular trade, especially if they've worked in the Air Force or the Navy, that they've been around a lot of aircrafts. It really interests them. They know that it's great pay. They know that it's a steady job, and they love to get trained. Um, so that means we also accept GI benefits. If you as a student, maybe your parent has a GI bill that you will be using, we accept financial aid also and GI bill. 
there's 400 employees, 180 of them are faculty instructors. We have 80 plus aircrafts. Um, they use those for the flight and technician training. So for the uh, pilots and things like that. Also, it's a huge training facility because if you think about, we have huge hangars that have to fit the planes inside that the students are working on. So 445,000 square foot of training facilities between our four campuses. Also, we have many top 10 rankings for colleges and I'll show you that next. We, um, they researched almost 700 two-year colleges, and we ranked in the top 10 for many out of 700 schools. So we, we, we ranked top 10 aviation college, who's ranked by best colleges. For upward mobility, we ranked um, very high in upward mobility by the New York Times. That's for our LA campus. Number one for overall mobility, moving up two or more income quantiles among all two-year for-profit schools. I know they're maybe a little confusing, um, the verbiage here. What this is just saying, the bottom line is that when our students get certified and they're working as an aviation maintenance technologist, um, they are moving up in pay. Um, it can go upwards of 40 to 60 to $80 an hour once you get years in with the airline. So all of the training that you're learning with Spartan is how to be an aircraft mechanic. Um, our training is unique because you not only learn how to work on aviation vehicles, but the same skills you can work on, on autos, boats, diesels, things like that. And I'm gonna show you the different type of air, um, vehicles that, that you can work on. So we call your uh, program a diploma program. It takes 15 months to complete. It's full time. So um, you can choose to, it's Monday through Friday, you can choose to go 7.30 to three, much like you go to school now or evening classes for to 11.45. It's a full-time program because you finish quite fast in 15 months. You can literally take your exam and be up and working, you know, in a, in a year and a half or so. So it's, it's excellent, benefits are excellent, um, the pay is really well, and we'll go over that in the next few slides. So then it's a total of 20 courses. You take one course at a time, each course for three weeks. You take three general education courses, five courses regarding the airframe of the vehicle, five regarding the power plant. One is called inspection of re in review. What's fun about the inspection and in review is it's like a final and you actually completely take apart a turbine engine and put it back together by yourself. It's like a final. So once you complete your courses, you then must take the FAA certification exam, preparation exam. So um, you get one, uh, one written exam, one written airframe exam, one written power plant, and an oral and practical. If you see that the exams match up with the courses that you take with us, Everything in these courses is exactly what's on the exam. So students are really um, encouraged to take those exams right away because you're ready for them right when you're out of school. This just kind of shows what you're studying. Three general classes. One is aviation science. These are more science-based classes. Electrical theory, aviation maintenance procedures. You would then move on to the core airframe, all the metal parts of the airframe. So the wings, the hydraulic system, metal and non-metal structures, aircraft system, aircraft flight control, and fuel systems. You then move on to the engine part and the power plant. So reciprocating engines, power plant systems, turbine engine theory and operation, propellers and exhaust system, fuel metering and lubrication system. 
The last is that inspection and review will you, where you will actually completely take apart an engine and put that back together. This is the finish line and this is your goal. To be certified, FAA is the Federal Aviation Administration. It's their certification. What I love about this certification is that it never expires. Once you're certified, this is your ticket forever. And also, you can use it anywhere in the country and anywhere in the world. So I've had students that say, hey, you know, Cara, I thought about the military, but I decided to become an, an aviation maintenance technician, and I'm going to go work on aircrafts in Dubai, and then I want to go to Spain, and then I want to go to South America. You can work as an AMT anywhere in the world. So students have utilized this to travel, to work in different parts, wherever they're hiring. So it's, it's awesome. By the way, the, the starting pay is above $20 an hour. It could be up to 30, so it ranges. And, and then you move up in income quantile. So it get, it's, it's a really good starting salary and a lot of benefits working for the airlines. So we also have a lot of student support to make sure that you are getting what you need to be successful. Our ultimate goal is to get you working. So get, help you find a job. Um, nobody gets anything out of you just going through the classes and then we never see you again. So what we have in place to support you, there's um, when you first get enrolled, there's a Smarter Measures little assessment. It helps the instructors know kind of where you're at in different subjects. So that way if they're, they need to help more in one area versus another, or maybe where you're strong in. So it really helps them. It's a brief like 15 minute assessment. Uh, we have a new student orientation all the time to prepare you for class. We have tutoring available. Most of the instructors tutor their students. We have a perfect attendance recognition. And it's really important to our industry partners who are the hiring um, companies to see the perfect attendance. They like to ask, hey, who has perfect attendance here? Who's been here every class? Who's um, you know, getting great grades? That's really important because like the Delta reps and the different reps come on campus and ask us who are the most qualified? Who do you think would do really well working for us? So it, students really strive to always be there, to have great attendance and to do really well. They acknowledge you with the perfect attendance luncheon, a college president recognition. We have a student government association, a veterans club and engine club. We also offer on-site FAA testing. So that would be your uh, Federal Aviation Administration test exams. They're offered at the LAX campus and some of the others. So then we have career services. Career services, you, once you are a Spartan student, you will always have access to our career services. So we have people that, um, Maybe they're looking for a change. They've worked for five years. Hey, they call Spartan Career Services back. Hey, what, what do you guys know who's hiring at this time? We give them the information, they apply, they're able to move to different roles. Sometimes they're moving out of state and they say, hey, I'm moving to Texas. Who's hiring in Texas? And we help them. So being a graduate from our program makes you um, eligible for a lifetime of our career services support which is awesome, students love it. So what Career Services helps with is social media cleanup at the end of your program when you're looking for jobs. They help make it look more professional if needed. Um, help um, with your LinkedIn, developing a LinkedIn profile, help you develop a resume, help you with interviewing skills and preparing for an interview. They also offer part-time jobs. And then lifetime job assistant and career placement. Like I said, um, you're always able to call and consistently check in and see who's hiring. Also, prior to COVID, there was on-site recruitment events. Right now, they've been virtual. 
but as soon as it's safe, we'll have those again, where all of the airlines and companies come out and do on-campus hiring. Um, network, we really network well with our industry partners, and we have strong relationships with local employers and industry partners. Here are just some of the places that our students work, our graduates. These are industry partners. Many students work for Delta, Southwest, United, SpaceX, um, Northrop Grumman, uh, SkyWest, Endeavor Airs, Republic Airways. All of these here. Here's some more American Airlines, Korean Air. Anyone that you, any company you know that has um, uh, aviation vehicles, you know that UPS and FedEx have those big jets that they deliver the package. Um, there's anywhere, you know, there's tons of companies, but these are like our main um, partners. So um, Boeing did an outlook and this, is so you always when you're looking for a job I, I know um, high school seniors I mean it's already March so in a couple months you guys will be graduating so when you're looking for a, a school to attend like a college or um, a field to go into you always want to look at the industry outlook Boeing projects that in the industry they need a hundred and eighty nine thousand technicians just in North America. Worldwide, 754,000. 206,000 pilots in just North America. 790 worldwide. This just breaks it down by commercial business and helicopter. So here on the industry outlook, here are potential career tracks. So you can obviously work in the field of aviation, you can work in aerospace, manufacturing, and here's where I was mentioning that you're able to work on all different type of vehicles, not only planes and, and um, planes, jets, and helicopters. You will have the skills where you can work on autos and in the field of auto and boat racing, heavy equipment repair, automotive and diesel repair, Federal Aviation Administration, you can work in wind energy. Southern California, we are really a headquarters for amusement park. Many of our students work at the different local amusement parks because the same um, skills that you learn to fix a helicopter would be you can repair like the Dumbo ride to get back in the sky. So it the roller coasters take the same skills you know to fix that would fix an aircraft um, aircraft technician is a possible position a line technician jet engine technician sheet metal technician helicopter technician composite specialist heavy equipment technician automotive and diesel technician and this is my contact information. Please take a picture, um, screenshot it. You're welcome to call me. What I can do um, is set up maybe a field trip for the students to come out and see the campus. Um, also, I can do a one-on-one -on -one appointment where I can help you get more information about what, how to fund college, um, how financial aid works, all those things I do one-on-one -on -one with each student who is interested. Aviation is a career that will always be there. So what you want to always remember is I tell students, so always be hair to cut, cars to repair, and obviously airplanes to repair to fly in the sky. So I can open it up now for any questions. Actually, um, Cara, I have a question about financial aid. Can you go over a little bit about the cost um, and financial aid options for student? Like, do you do Cal Grant or is there loans or yeah. that kind of thing? So, we utilize um, financial aid. Uh, there's different grants and scholarships and uh, student loans available to students. The FAFSA is based on um, 
you and your parents' income, and um, we do all that with you. Financial aid goes over that part. So once I set up an appointment with you, financial aid would kind of go over um, how that works. Um, it, the retail cost is around 40000 but I've seen students get full Pell Grant. It takes it down to fifteen or twenty. you know? So it just depends. Um, that's about the price range, but then there's funding to pay for it available. So is that 40,000 per semester or the program? The entire program. Okay. It's approximately that. Um, I don't okay. have the exact breakdown. Okay. Uh, we have about 20 programs. They're all a little different in cost, but it's around there. Well, like I said, my students who are eligible for Pell Grant, I see that they end up paying less than half of that, you know? So we help you, you know, we help you get the funding. We help you see what you qualify for before you start school. Then it's something that you can say, hey, this is going to work for me. Um, everything is on hands-on. So you're working with wrenches. Oh, but let me tell you what the tuition includes. I forgot. So you get a uniform, if you guys can see, I have a little polo on. You get your polos, um, everyone wears a uniform because they're kind of like shop, like classes. Um, for safety, you get a jacket, you get a computer, um, you get a full tool kit, which the tool company is amazing. It's been in business 120 years. Um, in um, all the tools that you need that you'll get to keep forever and then tuition your books everything included so they really make sure that you're prepared um, the other question I have as far as you said that sometimes uh, Delta or other airlines they come in do they have like a career fair or something? Um, we absolutely have fairs often um, due to COVID we haven't had any in person but um, they're doing virtual, so absolutely. Um, what happens, honestly, Delta's a big partner of ours. They come every week, the rep comes every week to the campus and says, who's graduating, Give me, let me see the list. They do presentations in the class. We, we want you certified. They really push that as soon as the student's done, please get your certification exams done, don't prolong that. And um, we ha they have positions. They have so many positions to fill that we don't have enough graduates. They're coming in. Who do you got? <laughs> we have great positions and there's a shortage. So this is a field where there has been a huge shortage of aviation maintenance technicians. So the jobs are there. All of my students that I've been talking to through the pandemic, I do check-in calls like, how are you doing? And, you know, are you and your family safe? They're working. In fact, um, when they grounded all those flights, when the pandemic just started, they just parked them all up in Victorville. I'm not sure if you were aware. Um, and so what they did is they're doing all the maintenance that they've needed to do. So our technicians are working. They're saying like 11 hours, six days a week, you know, sometimes seven. They're like, Cara, we're working. <laughs> there is no pandemic for us. Like we've been working. So they need to get, um, you know, they need to get repaired. They need to always meet the FAA standards. What's amazing is you're actually responsible for the safety of these passengers. So say something's wrong on the runway, they call in the AMT technicians, they fix it, they do all the, um, you know, testing on the vehicle, and they have to okay and sign off on it before the pilot can take off. So it's a very important position. It pays really well, and our students love it. They say it's so fun. So you're always moving. You're always doing something. It's not boring. It's always different. The, ex the pay is excellent, and the benefits are excellent. So, Could I also ask you, is it a traditional college semester where you get summer and winter break off, or is it 12 months year round? There's not like a long time off. But I think the campus and uh, holidays closed. I think we took a week off. They do close for the holidays. They're not sitting there in class on Thanksgiving, but it's not like three weeks off. I, I think it's a week or two. 
Um, but you go, you're not off all summer. So you go straight through. So that's why you finish in 15 or 17 months. So let's say you start in July, you're done by like the next January, a year and a half from then, you know. And how often is the test given? And let's say they finish um, from the time they finish and pass the exam. I'm assuming the exams are right after they finish or soon after. And then how soon do they get hired? When you're certified, I mean, those sort of things I can't guarantee, but the exams are consistently available. And um, it's up to the person to just make sure they're in contact. Career services is helping them. Um, soon after you're certified they're working so it's not like you know tons of waiting time um they also like while you're taking the exams like you're waiting or let's say you, you want to study a little longer we recommend you take them immediately but some students you know delay a little bit and they say oh, i want to study a little more but i want to work so there are other positions in aviation that we can place you in that aren't AMT, but we really want them to become certified as soon as possible to place them in these AMT jobs. By the way, um, students, the airlines, it's all over the news. They're doing a lot of forced retirements for these technicians that have been there, you know, 30, 40 years. Uh, because of the pandemic to try to cut costs and like save the their airline um, they're doing a lot of early retirements for these employees and they're really taking on um, the newer technicians so there's been a lot of, of job openings due to the pandemic due to the restructuring that they're doing and then a lot of people just for safety have retired early you know so Anything else? Any other questions? 